Talking of days and weeks, our next guest certainly traveled far longer than that. The Jamal Alel Ismail uh, family, his wife Safini Haroon, together with their four children, traveled all the way to Malaysia by car. Inspiring the world as they traveled. That is a mean feat. It really it? is. They certainly wow. did. And their Facebook page has the evidence. 47,000 people like their page and their post informing fans of their appearance on Living the Life Today got nearly 150 likes alone. Should've did got you ever get 150 likes? Should have got 47,000. Yeah, yeah, I right? suppose so, right? Well, mm. here we are. We're here to inspire us together as a family in what is a Living the Life first. We simply couldn't refuse them all a place on the sofa, having travelled all the way back to speak with us. As you know too well, we ordinarily welcome our guests with salam and then uh, and their name. But tonight it's assalamu alaikum to all six of the Jamal Alay family. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Waalaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Thank you so much for joining us, Rabbi. Now, all the way to Malaysia from the UK. What was it that inspired you, Jamal? If you could tell us first, what was it that inspired you to make this huge journey? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I need to learn something different because. Um, most of the time I spend time in the university. Mm. But learning uh, something different, I mean, I might go learn a language or how to play table tennis, but you decided to travel across yeah. the world. Uh, people said uh, learning by doing is better. Sure. Another yeah, thing yeah. is uh, traveling is the best university. That's so true. That's why we spend uh, time, uh, say, together, eight uh, time three meter, uh, travel for, I think, more than 25,000 kilometers. Wow. Uh, sit together. I think we gain so many experience. Because every hundred kilometer, you can see different uh, scenery. Yeah. Y you meet different people, mm. and you try different food, different mm. weather. This so, is something interesting. So, what was the conversation that happened in your house? Right, we're going to go for a drive. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Uh, let's go. And then, did your family not kind of ask questions throughout three weeks later when you didn't return home? I think. Or you, did you actually discuss it beforehand? Said, yeah, we're gonna go for a very long drive and not be back for for many months. Uh, I know you, you can ask them. I think when I said uh, we want to travel back to Malaysia, yeah. uh, one of my daughters said this must be crazy. This must be joking. Wow. And. Uh, but, but you no. weren't, you were serious, you were perfectly yeah. serious. Um, this is, why don't you tell us, how did you find the journey? I mean, being, I mean, I, I, mean, I, I love my wife dearly, but we don't spend that much time together. I'm, I'm glad you know? love your wife dearly. Yeah, yeah, but like, yeah. I mean, you were together, that fact. you were together for such a, you know, for such a long time. Yes. How did you, how did you find that experience? Did you uh, bond more as a family? Uh, after. 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 <laughs> because I think, you know, with, with a very long journey mm. and with six people in the, very small compartment. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't good at the point, of course, you know. How uh, far into it did you start arguing? <laughs> How far into the, if you don't we, mind we me asking. We argued before anyway, oh. before we even start. Oh so, my goodness. So I think argument is just part of the life in some way. So that is why, I think that is one of the reasons that uh, we're not, you know, we're scared, but we're not really scared because you yeah. used to argue. So you know that 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 will be part. Yeah. If, if you don't argue, then, then when you start arguing, you know... Th but but that you know there's great. something wrong when we're not arguing. Mm -hmm. you're like, yes. There's something wrong. Something's yes. brewing. Because I think, I think when you argue, you understand more. So yeah. I think that, that's, that's where, we, where we come to the point that... Uh, to the stage where I think, OK, we're probably, you know, going to take this challenge. Wow. And yeah. see and, how and, it goes. And you guys took it and it was a beautiful uh, journey for you guys, Indeed. as you say. In fact, we've got some clips that were as inspiring yeah. as the journey wow. was. We're going to inspire our viewers now. Let's take a look. Yeah, absolutely.
gosh, Charlotte, that was outstanding. Incredible. Absolutely outstanding. Who did most of the filming? You did, Marshall. Tell us a little bit about the, some of the scenery that we saw there, what countries. I noticed Turkey. Yeah. Uh, just tell us a little, little bit more uh, about some of the places that we saw in that clip. Um, I think the best clip in that film um, video was Switzerland yeah. because um, it was all natural and it was really green and stuff and yeah. I thought that was really breathtaking. Fantastic. So, so um, tell us, I understand that you guys became celebrities when you, when you arrived. Is that, is that, is that kind of close to the truth? Uh, not exactly celebrities, but um, I think a lot of people wanted to hear our story yeah. because we've been talking about it for ages yeah. and then it just kind of exploded when we, when we arrived there. Yeah. So. Wow. Now, you're being modest, I know, because I've been told that you yourself did a TV interview while you were in Malaysia that a lot of people were watching as well. Is that right? Yeah. Nola. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Nola. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Now, let's, let's speak to some of the other kids as well. I've, got, I've just got to get your uh, taste of this, okay? Your, your experience, okay? Now, uh, is it Mohammed at the end? Yeah, yeah okay, Mohammed, let's, let's ask you, right? Now, I mean, I, I'm guessing you, you've got a busy social life, right? And you, you're a young guy, you're in London, you're doing your thing. You've got friends, you want to hang out with them. How did you feel initially about having to just take this huge road trip with the family? Were you excited about it? Were you kind of like, well, I'm going to miss my Xbox or whatever it is you, you, you were going to miss? Uh, well, at first, I was, I was kind of thinking it was one of those journeys that we would kind of go halfway and then kind of, turn you know, back. it's not happening. You, yeah, kind of, yeah. you kind of get to Croydon and you turn back around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, you know, when we arrived in Turkey, I thought this is real and, wow. you know, it's, it's going to happen. Yeah. And then I just hope for the best and make sure that we made it through the entire journey. And thankfully, alhamdulillah, we made it all alhamdulillah. through the well, entire journey. The thing is, OK, it's different between a, a mum and dad. It's kind of, you know, you, you know they're going to have a bit of a, an argument every now and again. But four of you, right, uh, I mean, that must have been pretty interesting. Confined spaces, uh, you know, stop leaning on me, uh, stop reading what I'm reading, <laughs> stop looking over my shoulder, uh, you need a wash. Uh, stop crying, stop screaming. You it's know, what was it like? These, you know, I'm, yeah. sure, I'm, I'm just, just talking about my personal experiences, <laughs> but I mean, what was it like? As far as you see, guys seem close, but there must have been, I'm sure, some interesting sibling uh, moments. Well, personally, I think that because of the journey is what brought us close to wow, how we that's are today. Good. Well, sure. Because as well as us being in such a small confined space, it also means mm. that we got to know each other a lot more yeah. um, than on average day. Because, <laughs> oh, wow. you know, usually we're spending our times in our, you know, separate rooms, and, you yeah. know, not getting to know each other. But the journey really helped us. Being in one room also meant that we all got to know each other yeah, a lot more better. Fantastic. So. Let me ask you a question, Ahmed, right? Because uh, you're, you're the youngest of the lot, okay? Right? How, how did you find the whole thing? What was your favorite moment of this huge trip that you took with your whole family what was your one favorite moment Ahmed uh, it was probably in Turkey in Kapiuka where we woke up at sunrise I think and there was about a hundred or so um, hot air balloons in the sky wow and it looked amazing yeah and did you catch a, a, an image of that in the video as well that we saw yeah. earlier and just seeing that live it was incredible was it yeah did you want to kind of jump on one of them and come back home at any point yeah. or <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so just coming back to, to, to mum and dad, planning the route, right? Uh, how long did it take for you to figure out, right, we, this is, I mean, obviously there's probably only a couple of ways to go, but in terms of the actual route you took, how long did that, how long did that take to, to finalise that? I think so. we start seriously from uh, June, mm -hmm. uh, I think June 2012. June 2012. Yeah, okay. we start uh, making, and we have a, a six different route. So we have a plan A, B, C, D, oh E, goodness. F. Wow. I suppose the routes were most likely based upon the political situations in some of these countries yeah. as well. Yeah. Because I, I suppose you, there are certain countries you suppose you don't want to be driving through because you might become target practice. Uh -huh. uh, but I think so, uh, sometimes uh, we think that the country is dangerous, mm. but in reality, no. Okay. So, for example, before we enter Albania, many people said, oh, mm. be careful, mm. don't stop unless policemen. Yeah. But in reality, no problem when we yeah. stop there, people are welcoming, invite to their house. Mm. So, I think it's 99% uh, yeah. of the journey, we met the good people rather than yeah. uh, bad people. Uh, would you be able to tell us what the route was? Uh, we start from uh, uh, UK yeah, and okay. Europe mainland, uh -huh. then go to Balkan. After that, into the Turkey, okay. then Iran, then go to Central Asia country like uh, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, then enter to China. China, wow. big country, 8,000 yeah. kilometer. 
then start heading south to uh, Laos, Thailand, and Malaysia. Wow, that's an incredible well, journey. Well, was, was there no point, uh, Jamal, where you were just you just were driving and then all of a sudden you just put the brakes on and you thought to yourself, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? I, think, I miss uh, home. Uh, we don't have time to think this thing because we're normally we busy with everything. Yeah, so. yeah. It's been an extraordinary just just meeting you and learning from your experience and planning something. In the back of my mind, I am planning something. I might even take you along for the ride, Sarge. You never know. Right. So th if people want to know more about your journey, some of the clips, I know you guys have been very active on social media. How do people follow your trip? How do people read more about your journey? In, in Facebook, we have a Buy Road to Malaysia. Buy Road to, Buy Malaysia, Road to Malaysia on Malaysia. Facebook. We also have a website, Buy Road to Malaysia. Twitter also by road to Malaysia. That's brilliant. You got all the by road to Malaysia, yeah. basically, on all the, across the social yeah. networks. That's brilliant. And you've got things like pictures and videos and what yes. have you up there. Plus the brilliant clip that we saw earlier, which yes. was a compilation of all your yeah. um, brilliant, all your videos. And, well, and you're going to be doing another trip as well. So it's the return uh, yeah. by road back to UK from Malaysia. Inshallah. Inshallah. Yeah. Inshallah. Inshallah.